Hello, I'm Carson Wright. And I'm Patrick Roddy. Today, we'll be presenting you Reporting Guideline and Clinical Trial Registration Inheritance and Nephrology Journals, Results of a Preliminary Systematic Review. First, I'd like to go ahead and start off by thanking all the listed authors below. And I'd also like to especially thank John Goodell at OSU for Health Sciences Medical Library for help facilitating this project in the data gathering process and choosing journals. So for background information, you know, medical literature is very important in shaping decisions physicians make in treating patients. Medical literature has seen improvements, but we believe it could be better, especially since nephrology is a small yet growing field. And nephrology, there's an absence of research analyzing reporting guidelines and that a lot of research in this field, there's not very much. It makes the research almost more impactful for what there is. So the guidelines we chose to establish to help improve medical literature uphold all research to minimal uniform standards. The better research that is published, the more informed physicians can be when making decisions. We examined in 62 nephrology journals instructions for authors to determine which guidelines were followed. We also emailed the editors of journals to remove journals from our data if they did not publish literature that was associated with certain guidelines. For example, if a journal does not take observational studies, we would not include them in the data for MOOSE trials, for MOOSE guidelines. For our results and our preliminary findings, our most frequently mentioned guidelines were Consort, Strobe, and Prisma. These guidelines pertain to clinical trials, observational studies, and systematic reviews, respectively. Our least, least frequently mentioned guidelines were Quorum, which was not mentioned by a single nephrology journal, Prisma P, and Moose. These pertain to meta-analysis, systematic review protocols, and observational studies, respectively. For our findings overall, we found that around 40 to 50% of all journal guidelines were not mentioned by a single nephrology journal. Additionally, we found that required guidelines were not were mentioned at around 18% of the time as the highest number. This indicates that we could have a substantial increase in reporting guideline adherence, which would improve the quality of our research. Another key finding in our research was that the equator network was not mentioned over 53% of the time. The equator network is dedicated to improving the quality of research uh, through journals throughout the world. Um, uh, even more stark startling was our clinical trial registration with almost 50% uh, not being required. Our findings demonstrate the wide variety in whether journals uh, require, mention, recommend, or fail to mention at all whether guidelines need to be followed in order to be published in their journal. Without these, these accurate, stringent guidelines in order to ensure the quality of research, this could negatively affect the literature which clinicians use to treat patients. Therefore, our findings suggest that by adopting stringent guidelines uniformly throughout the nephrology field, that we could improve the research, which would serve to improve patient outcomes by providing clinicians with more up-to-date research. Thank you for your time.